Hi, I'm Susan, and here's a few things you need to know about me. I live in London with my boyfriend and my cat. I'm vegan, and I absolutely love to eat. I work a nine to five office job, and I absolutely adore reading. This year, I wanna get into my best health. I wanna become the best version of myself. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I really hope you enjoy this week in my life. Good morning, welcome back to another video. I'm making pancakes, today is pancake day and I thought I would do like a week in my life. It's actually Tuesday, but we'll pretend that the week starts on Tuesday. <laughs> I feel like I kind of need to explain why I went to the hospital and why I had an ultrasound. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> if you've watched any of my videos before, especially my period videos, you would know that I really struggle with my periods and pain, they're really painful and it's just not the vibe. It's never the vibe, it's always bad. And it's one of those things that like, I just kind of like grin and bear through. Is that the phrase, grin and bear? I have had a few comments that have said like, girl, go to the doctor. <laughs> and it's just one of those things that I've been like putting off for a while. And to be honest, I don't really know why, but also because I just think, what are they even gonna do for me? Like, how are they gonna help me? But I did go to the doctor and they referred me for an ultrasound, which I just had. And the ultrasound lady said that my ovaries look like I have got PCOS. But to have PCOS, you have to have like a couple different symptoms. So I need to wait to speak to my doctor before it's all confirmed and like properly diagnosed. I think it kind of makes sense, the diagnosis. Like I do feel like I've got quite a few of the symptoms and one of the things is weight gain, which to be honest though, I do eat a lot of food. I film these what I eat in a day and sometimes I'm thinking, girl, <laughs> you don't not need to be eating so much food. But at the same time, I've been reading a little bit about PCOS and it does say like, that you have like really bad cravings and I mean there's different types of PCOS there's a whole thing like honestly there's so much about it there's so much research and so much conflicting information like I'm not gonna get super into it now because I don't even know 100% if I'm gonna be diagnosed with it I think I am I think it's gonna be a lot of trial and error to try and figure out like what works best for me with it and it's gonna be a whole thing yeah I need to wait until I think next week she said it takes around seven days for the results to go to my doctor. So hopefully next week I will get some kind of diagnosis and some kind of treatment plan or advice or something from the doctor. I just think they're gonna tell me to lose weight or to go on the pill. <laughs> but we'll see, because I don't know for sure. Like I said, I need to do my research, but if you have it or you have any advice or anything that I should know about PCOS, just in case that that is the diagnosis I get, then yeah, please feel free to leave it in a comment down below and yeah, give me advice because I don't know, it's all new to me. But yeah, in a way it's kind of validating to know that that's something is not quite right because I have always struggled, especially with the pain and it makes sense if I've got these like cysts on my ovaries or whatever. I also thought the ultrasound was gonna be like cute little like, oh, squirting the gel on the belly is your ovaries and it wasn't fun. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> I feel very naive because I didn't really understand what an ultrasound was, but it's all done now. I treated myself to McDonald's after for being brave and going to the hospital. <laughs> but I mean, I did want to lose weight anyway. So if that's the advice that they give me, I guess I just have to definitely do it instead of just talking about it. <laughs> 
I think I've rambled enough. That is the end of the health update. <laughs> I'm now gonna read my book and go to bed. I'm reading my book club book, God Killer. Book club is next week, so I need to finish it this week, hopefully. Night. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I just got ready for work and Leo's brought me roses on his way home from the gym. I feel like I wanna get a cute picture of it, but my background of the house is like, when you live in a non-aesthetic house. <laughs> but I think they're really nice. And so he bought me these real ones and I've bought him Lego roses, which I think, let me sit down. I think I'm gonna build them later today. I thought they were very cute, it's just two. And they're not very big, it says 25 centimeters. That's probably the best way to show it. I'm gonna turn it around. <laughs> I need to go to work. I haven't had breakfast and I just, I'm so tired. I should take my iron, iron tablets. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna buy breakfast on my way to work. I feel like this is gonna be one of those days where I buy everything that I eat because we're gonna go out for dinner. I haven't made any lunch and I haven't made breakfast. So every meal that I eat today, I'm gonna buy, which is good for me. <laughs> I love eating out, but it's bad for my bank because I get paid next Friday, not this Friday. So <laughs> we'll see how I go. I'm very happy to say that I remembered my reasonable cup today. <laughs> and now I'm gonna buy my lunch from that first. I think that's one. for our date. bedtime dinner was actually really good but there was only one waitress it was super busy and i feel like she was stressed i actually feel really bad with her because i know that she's still working now and like it was just a mess no it wasn't bad the food's really good i just feel like they needed one more person to be working maybe they caught sick or something i don't know but yeah it was really good i feel like i'm super full of tofu they gave us so much <laughs> in the like curry we got like a tofu curry which also had potatoes, sweet potatoes, onions, and peppers in it with rice. And to start, we got spring rolls and summer rolls. It was really good food. But yeah, I just feel bad for the waitress. And she gave us the wrong receipt, and it was just like a whole thing. We were waiting for ages to order and to pay. It was weird to go out on a weekday, to be honest. Like, if you know me, you know I'm staying in my house. <laughs> like, I'll go out on the weekend, but that's about it. Good morning. This is not a what you know week, but I feel like a lot of my week is <laughs> me eating food. <laughs> so I'm making breakfast. I'm trying to like play with my breakfast at the moment. I've been looking into this like PCOS stuff. I mean, it's unconfirmed if I have it, but I'm pretty certain that they will diagnose it. Oh my gosh, there's so much information. Like what is right? There's so much contradiction, contradicting stuff. Like people saying that you should intermittent fast and people saying that you should like eat protein for breakfast. Like it's like a whole 
thing. I need to look into it more and I need to find out like what's gonna work for me, but I can't wait until midday to eat. Like intermittent fasting, I don't think it's ever gonna work for me. <laughs> As a person, like I wake up hungry. I can't wait. So I wanna have more of like a high protein, high fat kind of thing. Although I'm having toast, so it's not really low carb, but I'm gonna have um, some vegan bacon, but I'm using this corn ham slices and avocado on toast. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have for dinner, but that's breakfast. I'm literally just like, frying this ham no, not even any oil just <laughs> straight in the pan it's kind of working though So good, not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm using it right. <laughs> it feels wrong, but it's easier to set up than using a bar. worked out so I'm gonna be warm <laughs> warmer than usual because yeah I've just been exercising but lovely day middle of February it's like 16 degrees how romantic Jet black when I paint the town, only blue sheets when they pay me now. I treat a setback like a step back. 
wave. I got the game in a virus grip. Way up when the virus clear. All the homies on the flight list. Rebelly gifted. Take the plot and I twist it. Got a big lit. Sex with the incense. Got my mind rants. Won't stop. I would get home in the evening and I just don't film anything. <laughs> because I'm just. I'm just scrolling on my phone and watching TikTok basically. But I'm trying to read this book for my book club. I think I mentioned before that I started a book club. This is the February book for it. I've got it as a book, but I've also got it on my Kindle because I am a Kindle girly and I can't read a physical book in the dark. But I got it as a physical book because I am reading two books at once on my Kindle for the Throne of Glass series, like Tandem Read. I'm on page 182 out of like 300 and I just don't even really understand where is it going? What is it even really about? Like I'm enjoying reading it and like it's easy enough to read. I mean the beginning was confusing, the names and some of the ideas behind it are actually a bit confusing and I don't really know what's going on and I don't know where it's going. Like I don't know what's gonna happen next but I'm enjoying reading it. <laughs> I feel like everything I say about it is not a good thing, but like I do enjoy reading the book. Like I don't really have any thoughts. Like I'm not guessing what's gonna happen next because I just don't, I just don't know. I don't know. If you've read this book, like let me know if you felt the same because I don't even know. There's two, so I'm guessing it's gonna end on a cliffhanger, but I'm like, what would the cliffhanger be? Like, I literally don't, <laughs> I just don't know. Where is this book going? I'm happy it's Friday, I'm happy tomorrow's Saturday and it's the weekend and I think I've got Pilates, yeah. Tomorrow at 10.30. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, happy Saturday, finally the weekend. I just woke up and washed my hair. I feel like it's getting too long. And I mean, it's wet now so it looks darker but I, I feel like I wanna get more blonde at the top. So I'm gonna have to save for their haircut. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I kind of want it to be shorter, but then I just feel like it's gonna be annoying. Oh, that looks like a nice length though, but it is wet. So when it's like dry, it will be short anyway. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I just want to say good morning and I'm going to play on my Switch, I think. I haven't played my Switch for like a month or two. I think around Christmas was probably the last time I played it. My sister was texting me saying that she's playing Zelda and now I want to play Zelda too. I want to be the same with my sister. So I'm going to play Zelda and then I've got my Pilates class at half past ten. It's half past eight. I don't know if you can see that. It's half past eight right now. So I've got two hours before my class. And I'm gonna try and film in the class. I I get so nervous, but I'm really trying to like just film stuff because I know that it's it makes better videos and I just shouldn't even be embarrassed because everybody films themselves these days. It's been so long since I played, I don't remember what I was trying to do. Like why am I at the volcano? I just don't know. I'm 
sweating so much after that. I feel like having wet hair, because I washed it, doesn't help and just makes me look even more sweaty than I am. Looks good. I can't believe I went to that intense one last week. It was so hard. Like this was this, like the medium and I was dying. I can't do the plank like to save my life. If someone said, do a 10 second plank or I'm gonna kill you, like I would die. <laughs> 100%. So cute. Why are you pairing? Okay, Pilates is done. I've showered. I'm ready. And we're gonna spend the afternoon in Camden, which is an interesting place. We're gonna get pizza and then we're gonna look around some shops and I'm gonna take you with us. Sunday. I can't say happy something, like happy X day every day. It's kind of, I don't know, silly. <laughs> but yeah, just want to say good morning. I'm going to spend my day in the house doing nothing, doing niche. Just made a coffee. The coffee is bigger than I thought because I wanted to make a foam and a hot milk. So now it's completely full. Yeah, I'm just gonna edit my what I eat in a week video that went up last week. If you didn't see it, make sure you go watch it. I'll link it. Like a candle, I just burn away. All we really have is time. All we really have. right now i've got 80 pages of god killer left i'm not gonna finish it today i've not even read anything today but book club is on thursday so i need to finish it i'm, I'm gonna finish it tomorrow i think tomorrow i'm gonna start a new weekly vlog so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you want to see the next one I'm leaving a comment let me know if you enjoyed it make sure you give this video a like i will see you for another one very soon bye